Hi everyone, here are some tips on how to get ideas and inspiration for your animations. Trailers are fun to make because you don't have to worry about telling a story. You can just put in whatever shots you like and you don't have to connect them up or explain what is going on. One option is to make a stop motion version of an actual trailer. Another option is to choose a film you like and make a completely new trailer for it. But probably the most fun is to make a trailer for a film that doesn't exist. That way you can do whatever you like. And the great thing is, you don't need a plot. All you need is a few ideas for shots that look cool. Add some great music and some titles and your trailer will be so good that people will start googling the movie to see when it comes out. Don't worry about being completely original. It's okay to pick a popular theme like shark attack, zombie apocalypse or shopping fail and make your own version of it. If you're going to do this, I don't recommend watching every other video that's ever been made on that theme. Doing that might kill your inspiration because you might feel that every possible story has already been done. So just choose a theme that you like and jot down some story ideas. Try doing something a bit different or adding your own twist, but don't worry if you can't think of anything. For my shark attack video, the story was just that everyone got eaten, including the coast guards. The story wasn't clever or complicated, but I had fun making it, and the feedback from my subscribers was great. Using an ideas book is the way that I get inspiration for my animations. I have two notebooks that I take with me wherever I go. Anytime I get an idea, or even half an idea, I note it down. Usually my ideas start out as just a few words, like Lego bird watching, or guy buys the last sandwich in the shop. Sometimes that's as far as it goes, but often I come back to an idea and turn it into a script for an animation. Right now I have more than 200 ideas for videos in these books, and I don't know when I'll ever get the time to make them all. A quick way to make an idea for a stop motion is to do a how it should have ended. The idea is to think of a movie that you don't think ended in quite the right way, and create your own improved ending for it. Or you can take a film with a perfectly good ending and come up with a silly alternative. Imagine if Thanos had turned half of life into jam instead of into dust. No wait, that's just weird. I don't feel so good. We're done here. Creating a character can give you ideas for lots of animations. On my channel I have lots of different characters, for example Samson, Dylan, Archie, Clarissa and Luke, each with their own unique lives and personalities. Okay, but why don't you go home? I did. Once you've created a character, you can come up with animation ideas by putting that character into new situations. What would happen if Dylan went skiing, for example? Well, since we know that Dylan is always getting attacked by sharks, he'd probably ski off the edge of a glacier, fall into the water and then... you get the idea. Try putting your character into extreme situations and then imagining how they would react. By doing this, you'll find you can come up with dozens of ideas in just a few minutes. A mashup is created by combining elements from different universes or different movies. For example, suppose Homer Simpson ended up on the Death Star. What would happen when he met Darth Vader? Who'd have thought Darth Vader was Luke Skywalker's father? Or suppose Mr. Bean fell into a Fortnite Battle Royale. How long could he survive? Or what would happen if Thanos went on holiday with Voldemort? The possibilities are endless. If you're still stuck for ideas, try taking inspiration from real life. I often hear about real life situations that give me inspiration. For example, on one of my trips I heard about a man who had his house on one side of a river and his toilet on the other side. But I'm not going to tell you what happened next because I'm going to make it into an animation. If you turn on the TV or the radio, or look on Facebook or Reddit, you'll find loads of funny stories that you can base an animation on. It's best not to copy them exactly, and obviously don't use people's real names or recreate something that could cause someone distress or embarrassment, but real life stories can give you that spark of inspiration that you need. You can find loads of story prompts online just by googling these two words. These are mostly prompts for writing short stories, but a lot of them can just as well be used for animation ideas. Another kind of story prompt are these story cubes that I use. They come in packs of 9 or 3 in different themes. You choose some dice to roll and then make a story using the items shown in the pictures. If it seems like a challenge to link up all the pictures that you roll, that's the point. If you find yourself always using the same ideas over and over again, story prompts can force you to do something different and new. 
To make a spin-off, identify a character in a book, movie or TV series who you think deserves a bit more screen time. The Harry Potter movies, Star Wars movies and Avengers movies are full of minor characters whose stories are just waiting to be told. Another kind of spin-off you can do is to fill in a plot hole in the way that Rogue One so brilliantly explained why there was a fatal weakness in the Death Star and how the Death Star plans were stolen. My final tip for coming up with ideas for your stop motion is to just start animating and see what happens. This doesn't work for everyone, but it's definitely worth a go. The most important thing if you're going to do this is to have fun and don't put yourself under pressure. If it turns out to be rubbish, don't worry. But if you relax and enjoy it, you may find that new ideas just spring to mind as you're going along. That's certainly what I found when I tried this out when I made the short animations for my stop motion noobs videos. Even though the animations I made were deliberately rubbish, I came up with ideas for scenarios and stories that had never occurred to me before. Please let me know in the comments if you found these tips helpful, and let me know if there are any other tip videos or tutorials that you'd like to see on Gold Puffin. Also, please check out the list in the description of some of the other tutorials that I've already done. Thanks for watching.